Let's talk about table tennis now at the World Team Table Tennis Championships taking place in Sweden, Nigeria. Uh, when they came out against Sweden uh, today, there were a lot of talks. Ah, this is the home team. They have a lot of support. Uh, but the Nigerian team led by Shegun Toriola, Aaron Okwari is in the team, but they are building is there. And of course, Jide Omotayo, they put themselves together and then they went on to play Sweden and they won 3-1. They will be playing Slovakia in the quarterfinals. This is going to be a very crucial match for Team Nigeria because they lost in the group phase to Slovakia. Slovakia gave them their first defeat. And at the time, uh, Nigeria had beaten Turkey and Argentina. They lost to Slovakia. So I was like, oh, what if they lose to Bulgaria and Australia? But they went on to beat Bulgaria and Australia uh, and then qualified for the knockout phase where they defeated Sweden. So tomorrow by noon... Put that down. So you need to support uh, your Nigerian team uh, at the World Team Table Tennis Championship. It's a good one. Uh, we like the fact that um, they're putting themselves together, giving us reason to talk about table tennis. Uh, not a lot of pressings. Uh, just as Tolu said, not all the time we talk about handball or table tennis or cricket or cycling. So when there's a chance to talk about it, we need to do that. And table tennis has been giving us loads of reasons to talk. This is the same team that went to the Commonwealth Games yeah. and won silver. silver so they still put themselves together and went for the World Team Championship in Sweden. So wish them all the best of luck. We'll monitor that. Still at the International Table Tennis Federation World Team Championship, we keep telling you that sports has the power to unify nations, to bring countries together, to transform lives, to as a tool for national unity and peace. Guess what's going to happen? North and South Korea, they have requested, look at it right there, the power of sports, Tolu. I like when I see things like this. They will feel the combined team at the World Championship the two Korean nations requested, they went to the ITTF and said, uh, we'd like to feel the unified team for the semifinals, which will be played against Japan or Ukraine or Friday in Sweden. The last time a unified Korea team played at the championship was in 1991 in Chiba, Japan, where the women's team shocked defending champions China to win gold, to win the gold medal. This is heartwarming. This is sweet. At this point, everybody, the barriers are broken and everybody just want to come out and play for the love of the game. To you. you know, when, it, when we talk about sport, one thing it does regularly, I mean, again and again and again, is unifying nations. And this is another beautiful one. It's a beautiful story yeah. to know that awesome. these two nations who have been at each other's throats for a very long time are mm. coming together at this stage it's a global stage yeah. and making this request on their own accord to have a unified team play in the semi-finals and should they win they'll go on to the finals hmm. and then win it's going to be a fairy tale a lovely fairy tale uh, should that happen yeah. well, i would love that to happen I'll, in the world of sport sure. really and so if it's the sports that can bring that those countries together, it's going to be awesome. We saw it at the, at the Winter Olympics, Olympics when they came out together on the unified flag. And also we've seen what football did for Syria Definitely. when they were so close to qualifying for the World yeah. Cup. We love it. Sports has got the power to bring countries together. Let's listen to talking points coming out of that our request from South and North Korea. The Republic of Korea, commonly known as South Korea, and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, commonly known as North Korea, have decided, due to the current political situation between the countries, not to compete against each other. Instead of competing against each other, we will, in the semifinals, for the first time in a very, very long time, see not North Korea, not South Korea, but unified Korea! is something that has been worked out and supported by the ITTF and the political leadership of both countries. So sweet.
so sweet, really heartwarming. Uh, not North Korea, not South Korea, unified Korea. And the same, if we've tried everything, diplomatic ties, discussions, and they're not working, can sport just show them the way? That's what they're trying to do. As the leaders of North and South Korea, uh, let's leave the discussions. Let's come together. Let's do some more sports and see if we're not going to be all right. When South Africa was trying to be divided, a great Madiba, God bless his soul, he used rugby. Rugby brought the Rugby World Cup, brought South Africa together. And today we know that uh, South Africa remains a force. A great, a great force to be reckoned mm. with in the sport. I mean, but definitely the greatest in Africa in a way. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Good story coming out of um, that one, Unified uh, Korea. Let's see what's going to happen when they file out on Friday uh, to take on either Japan or Ukraine. Let's uh, find out what's going on in the UEFA Europa League. Uh, about 81st minute played in that one between Atletico Madrid and Arsenal, and it's still 1 0. Are the Gunners, um, they, they can still fight. They can still believe it's football. Anything can happen. But at this stage, we know Atletico Madrid have been good defensively. At home this season it's this year hard. yeah they've only considered four goals at home this season mm. and when you look at the fact that real madrid have been there uh barcelona have been there uh okay <laughs> yeah, chelsea won there two <laughs> goes to one but then you can't count too many teams who have gone there and scored a goal mm. they've kept 13 clean sheets in 18 games at home wow. this season already wow look wow it will be difficult for us now yeah. it's at this point where you're looking at them and saying, okay, can they still do something? Yeah, they need a goal to force this into extra time. Mm -hmm. But then the chances of it happening, knowing Atletico Madrid, yeah. particularly for their defense, it will, ah, be it will be very difficult. Salzburg, uh, when they defeated Lazio, um, I was, it was luck, it was luck. But I knew they were going to put a fight tonight yeah. Yeah. against Olympic Marseille. It's 2 0. So it's tight. It's tight. And they had good chances in France last week, too, mm. but they didn't, they, they were unlucky in front of goal a lot of times. I thought for a team losing at that point, they were, they were snatching at their chances. But now, back in front of their home fans, mm. Salzburg are just about to shock Marseille. And mm. if that happens, well, they have earned it. Because all season long, they have been very, very consistent. And losing 2-0, they know that they still stood a chance in, their, in the return leg. The weather is completely different from what you have in France. And they're taking advantage of everything at the moment. Kudos to Salzburg. Wow. Well, let, wow. we have a game in our hands. I know. <laughs> I, I know. Um, it's going to be uh, a fight uh, till the final minute. Let's go on this break. When we come back, uh, we'll try to read some of your uh, comments on social media. And then we'll wrap up the show. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Welcome back, Sports Tonight on Channels Television. Just before uh, the cutting falls on the show tonight, let's let you know uh, that we're going to have um, a big showdown in the final minutes of um, that UEFA Europa League matches being played tonight. Atletico Madrid. Um, leading Arsenal by a single goal and with that they are in poor position to make it to the final while Salzburg says look if we want to go down we will go down fighting and that's what I like you saw AS Roma they left there as late and it just didn't happen for them so that's the confirmation uh, right there uh, nothing has changed in the game between Atletico Madrid and Arsenal but uh, Salzburg and Olympic Marseille is all tied now so with this uh, Tolu we get into extra time if you no know, goals to our penalties will give us the winner yeah definitely wow. and <laughs> Marcel will be kicking themselves because they have all the stars mm. Tovin, uh, Dimitri Payet <laughs> They should be doing better than this, but yeah, this is what you've gotten. You should kill the first leg at home ah, if it's in your advantage. That's right. But they must have felt 2-0 is a good result, but okay, no, and it's, it's, it's thrown away so Liverpool, easy. So Liverpool said, look, we'll score five, so whatever wants to happen, let it It's so funny, Austin, yeah. how you can score five and still feel and, and, You know, it's okay. It's European <laughs> football. I want to say thank you so much, Atalu, for stopping by. It's a pleasure, Austin. Always a delight to have you. And of course, to you, wherever you are in the world, watch this post tonight on Channels TV. Keep talking to us on Twitter. We're channels underscore sports, Facebook channels, I think sports. That's the show for the team. I'm Austin Okonakwan. In everything you do, remember, let's keep talking sports. Bye for now. <laughs>